The U.S. Interior Department is close to releasing its first new offshore drilling rules since the Deepwater Horizon disaster, revealing just how strictly it will regulate the oil and gas industry in the wake of the worst offshore spill in U.S. history. The new rules, which the Interior Department will release in the next two weeks, will apply to both shallow water and deep water drillers, encompassing dozens if not hundreds of companies that help produce a significant portion of the U.S. energy resources. Oil and gas companies that were forced to suspend their deep water projects when the Obama administration imposed its drilling moratorium will have to comply with the new rules before they are allowed to resume their work. The moratorium is scheduled to expire on November the 30th. Among the things that the oil and gas companies will be watching for is a requirement that forces the top-level executives personally certify their company compliance with the operating rules. CNOC Limited, China's biggest offshore energy producer, fell in Hong Kong trading as a growing territorial dispute between China and Japan in the East China Sea threatens to disrupt oil and gas development in the area. The shares dropped 0.4%, close to 14.66 Hong Kong dollars, compared with the less 0.1% gain in the benchmark Hang Seng Index. China Oil Field Services Limited, which counts CNOC as its largest customer, declined 0.7%. China severed senior-level government ties with Japan over the detention of a Chinese fishing boat captain after a collision with two Japanese Coast Guard vessels near a group of disputed islands in East China Sea. Sovereignty would give the holder rights to undersea petroleum reserves and CNOC is already producing oil and gas to the west of the disputed area. Moving on, Centrica PLC, Britain's biggest energy suppliers, agreed to buy Royal Dutch Shell PLC's 9.44% stake in the Stratford oil and gas field in Norway. Centrica will pay 1.37 billion kroner, that's 230 million US dollars, for the stake, it said in a statement in London today. The cost will be about 110 million US dollars less because of the price includes 670 million kroner, attributable to the historic tax allowances. Alan McClellan, a spokesman, said by email. The acquisition doubles Centrica's interest to 19.13% and adds to 172 billion cubic feet of oil equivalent to its reserves. That's all for now. Do come back later for some more news making waves. Till then, it's goodbye from the studios.